Welcome to another unboxing from theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. Today we're taking a look at the newest expansion for Space Empires, which is a 4X style sci-fi themed game from GMT Games, designed by Jim Crone. Um, Space Empires is a game I have. It's a fantastic game. Fantastic in its simplicity, but in its depth, its replayability, as well as its fun factor. Um, really great series. If you are into 4X games, this is one of those that you'll want to pick up. We love 4X games like Eclipse, Twilight Imperium. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the others that we've played. Uh, oh, I'm Zia. Legends of the Drift system I enjoyed quite a bit. That was a little more pickup and delivery. Um, also, Conquest of the of Paradise, for also from GMT Games. It is a 4X style game, but it is not a sci-fi themed game. It is ancient Polynesia uh, and, and struggles between different tribes there, but really fun. So, Space Empires, this is the second expansion, like I said. I do not own the first expansion. But I do now own, obviously, replicators. This just came out, brand new, fresh off the uh, the P500. In fact, I just got this about a week ago, and I've been dying to get it un unboxed, mainly because I want to clip the counters so that I can integrate it into my Space Empire Empires uh, game. It's going to stand in its own box. I have Space Empires. I have now the third edition, I believe it is, third printing, and it is cram-packed with, with counters. This will not be able to fit in that box. It wasn't designed that way. This will be a standalone box that I will simply put on the shelf uh, and pull it out when we decide that we're going to play the Replicators expansion. So here, let's go ahead and dive in. I'll give you a look there at the art. Fantastic art. Sorry, you're going to see me in the... In the uh, and here's a look at the back of the box. So, really cool. You got some black holes, some alpha, a new planet uh, where you can colonize and mine. Um, you can see the game adds, I believe, a fifth player uh, with a different color. There are some new ships. So, it's, it's going to be really cool. There are two counter sheets. So, there's going to be a couple hundred counters that come with this one. It will not, once again fit in my box. Solitaire suitability is high. There's not a lot of hidden information that you need to know and the complexity is fairly medium. Great game. There you go. There's a there's a good look at that. Let's go ahead and, and rip the plastic off. But these games are fantastic. GMT games are just top notch. As you can see uh, from the box itself, the box is actually ridiculous and the art, the time put uh, with the art is is awesome. So it looks like the drawing is by Eric Williams. Fan fantastic job there, Eric. Really like the uh, the theme that it evokes. So the first thing you see here is the rule book. I like that this rule book book is not glossy. It is uh, easier to read, in my opinion. A little easier to handle. Uh, the rules clock in at. 27 pages, but you can see there are quite a few examples. Like here's an example. Here is a way to play, actually included in the rules, is a way to play Replicator Solitaire. I'm going to have to check that out and see exactly uh, what that means. But this is going to add different elements to the game. Um, there's actually an option to use a Talon map, uh, which Talon is another game. That's pretty interesting. I did not know that. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, it does add some additional elements. I don't know if these are cards. Yeah, these are advantage cards that you're going to have. And you can see they are they're based around different types of research or different abilities that the player is going to gain, which is cool. Once again, add some variety to the base game itself. Um, but yeah, rules are fairly simple. I'll show you the counters here in a minute, but the counters in this game are utterly simple, but they are beautiful. Well designed, well laid out, love the color choice. And each of the different factions has different looking ships. 
which I think is just fantastic. Not something they had to do, but I think that they did do because it adds to the, uh, to the variety in the game. So there's a look at the rules. Uh, the first thing you see here, and I have not played this game nor th this part of the game, so I don't exactly know what all of these are, but this looks to be an, ex an extra card that is allowing you to, well, the game is called Replicators, so it appears that you're, you're able to maybe assimilate different fleets into your fleet, so you might be able to capture your enemy ships and then you know, assimilate them into yours. I don't exactly know, but there's a look at that card. There are quite a few, a few player aids. <clears throat> Once again, designed for five, a fifth player now. So you can see that there are, yeah, there's only four of these, um, but these are different statistics on the different types of ships, including their, uh, their, Construction value, their attack, defense, hull size, different notes about how they work. On the flip side of that, you're going to have a research chart. And if you've played Space Empires, there is a research element <clears throat> where you can spend resources to develop different technologies, such as the size of your ships, their attack value, defense value. You can add tactics, extra movement help with terraform and exploration, different upgrades here. Um, and you're gonna add in this expansion, I believe you add infantry and ground, uh, ground combat to this. So really, really cool. But these are the, the player aids. There are four of those. We'll lay those out to the side. If you've played Space Empires, you also know the, the tablet. So this is a tablet that each player is going to get one of these. And it looks like there's a couple, couple different types. Uh, so there's replicators, production sheets here. There's two of those. And then this one says, it says the same thing, but it looks like it's differently printed. I'm not exactly sure. Sorry, I, I should have done a little more research before I did the unboxing. But there's a look at those tablets. And once again, those you're going to use one of those for each player when you play. So you're going to need to make sure you get uh, some printouts of them or you're going to run out. Now to the good part, the counters. These are fantastic counters. These are new planets that you're going to be able to colonize. You can use a Colony 5 to take this planet over. On the back side, you're going to have some asteroids. So these are going to be used... They're multi-use. Here's an example of a barren planet. So you're gonna explore and flip that over and encounter a barren planet where you thought maybe a planet that would have had resources. Here's another example of asteroids, but you can see the detail and the art on these counters is absolutely phenomenal. And these are made for the different player colors. Uh, so here's the red players home. I guess they're the home system. Planets, here's the yellow player. You've got the different purple, green, and then these are colorless. These are barren planets. But really neat that they're gonna add these to them. Then you can see there's black holes and nebulas. So these are, I, I bet these are almost replacing what was had in the first, first game, but I'm not sure about that. I need to do a little more research. I just know I wanted this and I've got it. Here you have some warp points, which are gonna allow you to move across the galaxy. There's a fold in space that you're gonna explore and discover. Great looking counters. And then here's the, the ship counters. There are two of these. So the new faction is purple. And look at all of those ships. And they all have different purposes. You have fighters, you have explorers, you have transports, you have heavy battleships. They all have different abilities, different attack numbers and values. Really awesome. Here's a look at some of the uh, scanning and exploration units. And then here's these, these tokens that show fleet exploitation, assimilation, and extermination. And then here's your colonies. These are your different resources that you can find in your home sector so that you can develop and expand. But yeah, these counters are awesome. And I love the choice of this purple. 
I think it really fits well. So on this counter sheet, these are the other four colors that already came with the base game. And what you can see here, they add some of this, these infantry units. So there you have some infantry units on the left, noted, uh, denoted by the pistol. And then you have heavy infantry that are denoted by the assault rifles. So those are new counters. And, and what I mean by, look at the ships. So look at blue ships. They, they look like that. So let's look at the same style of ship. There's green ships. They, they look different. It's amazing. I just love that level of detail. It's going to allow you to really dive into that, be immersed by that theme. And then here's a back, uh, back look at those counters. Just a fantastic looking game. And, and I would have to say Space Empires is not overly complex. I really feel like it's an easier game to pick up. So you're going to be able to play it and get into it very, very quickly. Here's a back, uh, bag of baggies. I really like that GMT Games provides those. And then here you have a lot of those cards. Uh, let's go ahead and open some of these cards for those that know the game and are interested what types of cards are available. <clears throat> so let's first, looks like there's a couple different type of cards. So these are resource cards. Let me just try to get through these. So it looks like they go to there. Then you have Empire Advantage deck. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got Empire Advantage deck for I'm not sure why that's brown. I'll have to look into that. But then you have uh, Alien Technology deck. So these are adding a number of cards that you can use in the different expansions would be my guess. So let, let's look at a couple of these cards. Let's just look at a couple of the resource cards. And once again, you'll understand this if you've, if you've played the game. So this is an event that's going to help you update your charts so that you aren't lost and can discover things more. There's another one, play dead, cut all active emissions. To play this card, an additional card must be discarded. Play after one of your non-Titan ships is destroyed. Treat the ship as screen for the rest of the battle. So that's kind of cool, helps in combat. But here's some other, other examples, coup, retreat when engaged, play during a battle before ships are revealed. All of your mobile units must retreat. You can use that to your advantage so that you can get out of a battle that you just couldn't win. Here's Minerals plus five. Play at the start of an economic phase. Designate one mineral on a planet. That mineral will be worth five more or three less than normal. So just some different cards to allow additional uh, interaction. Let's look at... So those are the resource cards. Let's take a look at the Advanced Research or Empire Advantage deck, which I believe is there. And I don't understand what those brown ones are. Maybe I'll figure that out later. But it looks like there are three, there are six of those Empire Advantage cards plus two that are brown. Don't exactly know the difference, but we'll, we'll figure it out other than the color. So false replicators, the first step, they have some, you know, they have some flavor text there. This is actually a quote from an Isaac Asimov novel. Replicators start with move to technology. Future levels of movement tech only cost 15 uh, points. So that, that allows you to start quicker in your movement. So you're able to, if you have this advantage, you're going to be able to start and move a little quicker. Replicated colonies do not begin to deplete until economic phase 13. That's important because your colonies are going to produce longer and more. Improved gunnery. So your flagship and all type uh, 13 and type 15 ships are equipped with secondary salvo. Player turn after they reach at least four RPs. All of their ships have tactics rating increased by one. T5 ships have plus one attack. So these are just advantages and then once again, here's the special two on the move. Don't Once again, don't exactly know what the difference is other than the color. But that's a look at some of these Empire Advantage cards, which is, which is a new element to the game in this expansion. And then here you have the Alien, Alien Technology deck. These just give you a, additional abilities. This one says reveal at the end of the game. 
That one says reveal the first time you, that you use that. So super highway, each ship that spends its entire move on an MS pipeline chain may move two extra hexes instead of one. So you're gonna be able to move around a little more efficiently with some of your logistics ships so that you can build things a little more quickly. So that's a look at replicators. Um, no map because the map board comes with the uh, with the first, the first, uh, the base game, basically. You have all kinds of new terrain charts, uh, terrain counters. That's cool. Really nice looking. Uh, you have some new cards. So there's a lot in this game. And I think they've done a really good job of outdoing themselves. I think the only complaint that I had, in my opinion, with the Space Empires game is it is pretty much a basic game, right? It, it doesn't have a lot of fluff. It doesn't have a lot of flair, but it has a lot of substance. It looks like this expansion, a lot of substance has been added, and I think that's great. Well-designed, great color choices, fantastic counters. These counters are amazing. They're thick. Um, pop out of these sprues really easily. I've already clipped and obviously used my Space Empires counters. So those are, are really nice. And that's a look at uh, Space Empires, the Replicators expansion, which is expansion number two, just fresh off the P500. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it. Would love to hear your thoughts on the video, what you liked, what you didn't like, what I can do better. I'm always open to feedback. We try to do a good product, and a lot of times we're gamers, we're excited, new things are awesome, and I always want to get these out and unbox them. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts. If you like the video, go ahead and like. If you enjoy our channel, please subscribe. We try to put up one or two new videos a week, either reviews, unboxings, or walkthroughs. Um, we enjoy doing it. It's fun. So let me know what you thought, what your thoughts are, and good luck playing this expansion. I think it's one that looks to add quite a bit and some interesting things to the base game itself. I've been Grant with the Player's Aid. Thank you.